Sad week for Nintendo because of a major shutdown. There's a positive side. Pretendo, which is a fan-made Nintendo network replacement, shares some exciting news with the community. We're also going to have a closer look at Epic Mickey's rebrushed first footage and get ready to witness the first Donkey Kong coaster that jumps the rail just like in the SNES games. Lastly, I'll be giving away a $50 Nintendo eShop gift card to three lucky winners, so watch until the end of this video so you can learn how to enter. Before we jump into this week's headlines, let me know in the comments what game or games you have been playing this week. You might recall that during the Nintendo Partner Showcase, the 2010 Epic Mickey will be returning to the Switch this year with Disney's Epic Mickey rebrushed. Well, producer Pan Schroeder share more information about this upcoming release. He said, quote, We had to change the controls. We had to enhance the camera and we needed to translate motion controls to analog sticks while needing to keep the heart of the game intact. Unquote. I am not a fan of motion controls, but the good news is that we're going to be able to turn them off. GameSpot had a chance to play the game and share an 8 minute long gameplay on their YouTube channel. Now, if you're not very familiar with this epic Mickey, well, it's a 3D platformer and Mickey Mouse goes on an epic adventure through Wasteland, a land of forgotten Disney characters, such as Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Well, not anymore, uh, but in case you didn't know, this was Walt Disney's first creation and not Mickey as everybody believes. Using paint, you can restore the beauty of this alternative world and use thinner to alter your environment and discover hidden secrets along the way. This remake reimagined the wasteland, adding advanced gameplays with new abilities, enhanced visuals with its setting, and Mickey also has new moves such as dash, ground pound, and sprinting. But that's not all. This title will be full of replay value by offering multiple endings based on their unique playstyle and decisions. I honestly can be more excited to play this and I wasn't even expecting it. A Big Mickey Rebrush by THQ Nordic will be available for Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and pretty much everywhere this fall. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to join the Discord server. It's free. Link to join in the description of this video. It appears that Nintendo has taken action against any Discord community associated with Switch emulators. According to The Verge, developers of certain emulators were contacted by Discord for allegedly sharing content that violates intellectual property. They say, quote, Discord responds to and compliance with all legal and valid Digital Millennium Copyright Act, the MCA request. In this instance, there was also a court order injunction for the takedown of these materials and we took action in a matter consistent with the court order, unquote. Although the developers asserted that they were implementing necessary precautions to prevent any legal repercussions from Nintendo, it is conceivable that certain members within the channels were exchanging content that could potentially violate Discord policies. Now, Discord's copyright and IP policy states that they will remove only the content that is deemed to be infringing on copyright law, while repeat offenders accounts will be disabled entirely. However, Sadashi's developer Jared Norwell claimed that Discord removed his account suddenly without providing any sufficient information to justify their action. Seems to be that Discord's decision to remove entire channels and developer accounts is a way of covering their bases and avoiding any potential conflict with Nintendo. And on a more positive news, we just got a new update for the Nintendo Switch Online. New games were added to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System library. Wrecking Crew 98. This action puzzler was released only in Japan via the Nintendo Power Rebattable Game System in 1998. And then again for the Super Famicom System proper. In this game, you can play either as the original Famicom game or the updated Super Famicom version. Super R-Type. A galactic battle begins. Fight through seven challenging stages, picking up power up items as you progress, on the way to each stage climatic boss. You'll need lightning reflexes, intuitive moves, and a big dose of cosmic luck to hold your own. Amazing Hebrick. 
originally released for the Super Famicom system in 1994. Amazing Hebrick features battles up to four characters where the last one standing is the winner. Havrick along with each of the other characters, you can perform two kinds of special in addition to their normal attacks. Use your attacks in combination with items and traps on each stage to take control and earn your hard-fought victory. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, this might be a great time for you to join and get instant access to a vast library in your Nintendo Switch console. As you probably already know, on April 8th, we had to say goodbye to online play for 3DS and Wii U. It was heartwarming and intriguing to see online players bidding farewells and saying their goodbyes to this service. But not everything is bad news. The fan-made Nintendo network replacement, Pretendo, is now available even if you don't want to hack your Wii U. They announced their latest project, the SSSL. This allows Wii U's the ability to have limited access to Pretendo without homebrew, using only DNS changes. A new method of connection has been discovered which uses the bug in the SSL module for the Wii U's version 5.5.5. The Pretendo team has reportedly known about this bug for quite some time, but they chose not to make it public to for fear that it will be patched. Online server recreations will not work for games that uses their own SSL libraries. For instance, Pretendo has listed Watch Dogs and YouTube as examples. The team has also mentioned on Twitter that the hackless method is only available on Wii U and there are no such exploits available for the 3DS. For more details about the project, visit pretendo.network blog. Our hopes were high and a lot of us were being very positive about about a possible Nintendo Direct on April, but at least by the time I'm recording this video so far, nothing is being said about an April Nintendo Direct, and things are a bit too quiet at the moment, just as we discussed on last week's Nintopics podcast. This brings me to an official announcement that I have officially joined the Nintopics podcast alongside with Mike Odyssey, Paul Gale Network, Zach Hendricks Media, and DJ Joycey. You'll be able to watch it here on the channel live every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So be sure to support the entire crew, especially Mike's channel, as the host of the podcast. I couldn't be more excited and honored to be part of this amazing crew, so be sure to check it out. All right then, are you ready to jump off the rails on a minecart? Nintendo announced Donkey Kong expansion for the Super Mario World attraction in Japan in spring 2024. Well, the good news is that the expansion appears to have been completed. In a video recorded by YouTube channel LCA Studios, the flagship roller coaster ride is being tested for safety now. The video also shows some of the surrounding attractions, including a structure similar to the one in the Super Mario Bros. movie. The structure has a smoke effect instead of a waterfall. Some of the later footage in the video is obscure, but the trees and scaffolding, but the glimpse at the ride and the attractions are impressive. The ride is based on the minecart segment of the classic DK games with unique track mechanism that makes it appear as the cars were actually jumping off the gaps. There was also a video on the internet that was demonstrating how the mechanism actually works and providing a thrilling point of view experience as you were riding the coaster. Before I wrap up this Nintendo the weekly here's the poll of the week where i ask were you still playing online on your wii u or 3ds before the servers shut down 26 percent say yes almost half percent 46 percent said no and six percent said never and lastly 23 percent said I don't own a Wii U or a 3DS. And finally, what I promised, I'll be giving away a $50 Nintendo eShop gift card to three lucky winners on May 14th. You have 30 days to participate or to enter. And all you have to do is very simple, just visit tropy.com forward slash Lily Hyrule, link in the description as well, and complete several tasks to gain points. You'll get one entry for every 60 points. The tasks are very simple as watching a YouTube video, follow me on social media, liking videos, etc. The more tasks you complete, the more chances you'll get to win. I'll be sure to add more tasks for you if you want more points, so be sure to visit my Tropy website often. And yes, I will have other giveaways for you guys soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching be sure to join our discord server it's free link to join in the description of this video and i'll see you next week take care and never stop playing bye